That means uh, more debt potentially, more cost to the country, and therefore taxpayers have to pay for it. Do you think it's worth that amount? To you and your daughter? Do I think it's worth that amount? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, where were you guys talking about this when uh, we had the, the banking crisis, you know, and this, this, this enormous tax cut? I, I just love how we don't have the money when it's going towards helping average Americans, but we have plenty of money when it goes towards helping big banks, corporations. I mean, that's, that's just a big... How's it gangin' dudes and dudettes? My name is Sean. Welcome back to the channel. Hope nobody's getting tired of that intro. <laughs> but, uh... Guess what? The lamestream media, the MSM, the legacy media, they're back at it again, guys. They're back at it again. Um, they called Yang a billionaire. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, you know, give the gravy to the algorithm. The overlords demand it. Or YouTube YouTubers get smited with those yellow dollar, yellow dollar signs. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, of course, you want the taters, the mashed taters. You got to share. You got to share the video. But, uh, yeah, for real, you know, like the video because we got to get people uh, aware of this kind of stuff. People, sometimes there's people, every once in a while, I show up in my comment section saying, like, there's no blackout. Their yang, uh, their polls aren't rigged and stuff like that. And here's just another example. And, and, and here soon I'll go through, uh, I'll, uh, allow you guys to see every single example to date so far we'll have another one to add uh but yeah right now they're the laughing stock of uh of twitter the internet like if you just you just type in msnbc it's just all it is is just them, it's just <laughs> them making fun of him for silly so here's another one oh my goodness it's <laughs> here's another one Oh, there's another one. There's another one and another one and another one and another one. Right now, MSNBC is just getting roasted, guys. They are getting super, super roasted. Uh, oh, I'm sorry for late upload. I know it's late, but just just got put into my, you know, a subscriber. Um, I, I put it on my community post first because I didn't know if I was going to make a dedicated video about it. Uh, but being as it's, I, we have all the other, um, a visual history of the Yang Media blackout, why not? Here's another one we can add to it. So figured I'd do a video about it, and I, I took to my community post because normally my community posts are well well received. I put I guess uh, mainstream media is just a troll network at this point. Uh, will uh, the M MSN BS <laughs> info wars of the left ever learn? Uh, they they know he is anti-establishment. And they try to smear him as a billionaire. Um, so yeah, I took the the little logo from the game. <laughs> the MSN yes. Um, I've also been trying to find a clip of this. All right, guys. So I was actually able to find the video. Um, so we'll play that before we get into like the long history of all the media blackout that's happened. Um, I actually have to hop back in here and re-edit this because I was actually able to find the video thanks to Paget's uh, video. She actually had it on here, so I followed that person, found them, and uh, so yeah. Actually, actually, after, after uploading and uh, it getting demonetized and me letting it uh, go under review, so I guess I just have to re-render it, re-upload it. But yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and play this for you guys here. How much of the idea of one to ten? did it improve your lifestyle and your family one to ten ten being good one being not so good um i mean i you know i'm, I'm not want to say it's a ten but i know it was up there probably around seven or eight you know definitely um i lost my job and, and this helped supplement a lot of the income because i was able to find another one but at a you know reduced uh, reduced uh, salary yeah. so we had to kind of cut back quite a bit so yeah. You know, we were taking this for a year, and you know, we actually just got our last check. So now, our last check. a year, three trillion dollars a year. That means uh, more debt potentially, more cost to the country, and therefore taxpayers have to pay for it. Do you think it's worth that amount? To you and your daughter? Do I think it's worth that amount? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, where were you guys talking about this when uh, we had the, the banking crisis? You know, and this 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 enormous tax cut. I, I just love how we don't have the money when it's going towards helping average Americans, but we have plenty of money when it goes towards helping big banks, corporations. I mean, that's that's just a big... All right, so there you go. You see the, uh, you know, the air quotes, mistake on screen, the smear job, the hit job, the little subtle dig there. But uh, really, I think it's funny how the the mainstream media likes to bring on, you know, average folk and pretend like they're going to, you know, uh, school them or... Uh, you know, because they do this for a day-to-day -day thing, like out, give them a hard question and they're going to flop on it. And that way it reflects bad on, on Yang. You know, that's a, a general tactic they do. And I just love whenever 
a normal regular person just schools them on it like we have you know, we have plenty of money to, to bail out the banks you have pl plenty of money for the military industrial complex we have you know <laughs> there's so much lobbying going on they're taking so many so much bribes there's all kinds of money going around but not for the regular people you know yeah so i love that part so there's the video guys and uh yeah we'll get into the history too so before we get into that um i, I just want to say that we have there was a subscriber who um and bear with me here i'm sorry guys Oh, and uh, shout out to Julie Wilson. The, the that's the subscriber who first brought it to my attention, so uh, that got me right on it. I want to put that on the screen there for you guys. Now, there's uh, the thing is, Yang isn't a billionaire. Um, he's well off. He's worth what, a million, a few million, a million, millions, of millions of dollars. He's worth a few million dollars. He's not. Uh, he's not hurting by any means, right? But he's not a billionaire. If he was a billionaire, he had opulent wealth like that. He wouldn't uh, bike his son to to school. Um, he wouldn't. Uh, he wouldn't need to bike. You know what I mean? He would have somebody drive him. He's not that sort of rich. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you live in New York. If you're a millionaire in New York, you might as well be a hundred thousandaire. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. It's it's different, especially when you're living in New York, but he's not, he's no more well off than Bernie Sanders. His companies are worth some money, but he's been building those up because he's an entrepreneur, right? So it's just another little disinformation, fake news stuff that MSNBC continues to perpetrate against him. And, uh, so I don't know. It's, they, they have no integrity. You know what I mean? They have no integrity at all. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just allow you guys to just kind of look through this and uh you know you can slow down the video or pause it wherever you want and uh, you, you see this is like a long history of it so let's go ahead and get through it guys
in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.
what is freedom? Uh, I think I stole this from Bob Dylan, but maybe I stole this from Woody Guthrie. Freedom for me is waking up in the morning and going to sleep at night and in between doing exactly what I want to do. What's the secret to happiness? The secret to happiness is finding something you love and then doing that for the rest of your life. perpetrators of this whole thing and uh you know it's a uh, it's it's unfortunate but really uh, what do you expect so uh, i do have my twitter up here guys the uh, tweets of yang i haven't ever been really utilizing it so i just started a couple days ago to really start using it uh so you guys can you know check out i guess that um but yeah so just another one another one another one down you know you know, you know what i'm saying guys so uh, if you guys want to see this, you know, you can always just slow it down. Uh, I try to make it, you know, as slow as possible for somebody to just like, you know, glance over them. Uh, hope you guys like the music, stuff like that. So for anybody who doesn't believe that Yang isn't being pushed out, that Yang isn't being kept out, that Yang isn't being, you know, the DNC and the media isn't putting the weight, their weight on the scales of democracy uh, against Yang. For anybody who doesn't think that, there's proof there's so much proof and there's been a couple people you know email me reach out and and say that you know they haven't they have received a poll and Andrew Yang wasn't an option there's been quite a few um, of these um, a lot of these are anecdotal some people's actually provided some proof so um, it's an open invitation to anybody out there if you have any sort of proof like that a screenshot recording or if you have an encounter even anecdotal uh, I want to know send me an email you can also get inside uh, our our discord you can hang out there it's always fun everybody's in here you know pretty much everybody's gang gang or, or gamers so there's pretty much something for everybody to hang out with do do stuff you know what i'm saying uh so yeah that's i just want to give you guys this update i'm rambling at this point there's not really much else to say because it was just a quick little update and uh yeah man i don't know it's just i can't believe they're still doing this stuff it's and they're doing it and so openly and blatantly like ever they're mocking us at this point they're trolling us they have to be after this long documented and seeing an mb See, just messing up uh, Tulsa Gabbard and Andrew Gang, just pouring salt on the wound on some of their missteps that they have in their campaign. It's just, it's, it's utterly disgusting. It's, it's beyond distasteful, right? And uh, I don't know, just you can always. Everybody should be calling their advertisers. Everybody should always be doing that. Boycott this, this MSN BS because that's what it is. And I'll catch you guys on the other side. One, two, three.